Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. JC here. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to show you guys some cool things that I have hanging around the shop. Um, this is kind of my my corner of uh, I don't even know what I want to call this. My little corner of cool stuff. So my wife's dad's dad, her grandpa on her dad's side was a tool and die maker and this is some of his old stuff he's from the the UK uh, machinist in the UK and uh, moved to Jamaica to open up the red stripe bottling cap company and I believe it's still running today but he literally built the building put the machines in there and developed all the dyes and everything for the bottle caps for red stripe so I thought that was pretty neat. This is some of all his, uh, some of his stuff. And I was so honored to actually get some of this stuff. Um, thanks, Steve. I appreciate you. Kind of a little memorial. I don't know. I think it's freaking awesome. But anyway, we're going to get in today's video. And in today's video, we're going to go over all the uh, OBS stuff that I have available for your OBS Ford. What's up guys? Thanks for uh, joining me on another episode. Welcome to the shop. Welcome to the laboratory. <laughs> hey, if you guys have been enjoying the short little videos that I make, man, give me a thumbs up. Somebody keeps giving me a thumbs down though, and I, I don't know why, but I, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, whoever, <laughs> whoever you are. Um, but I really enjoy making the funny stuff. And um, I don't know, I just, uh, it's who I am, what I like to do. And uh, so a little bit of history on the shop. I don't know um, if, if a lot of you guys out there know, I'm getting some new subscribers. I'm really pushing YouTube now, so which is great. I've been wanting to do it for the longest time, but it's just, uh, this is actually a home machine shop. I run this machine shop out of my home. I started very, um down to earth if you will with a 1990 Haas VF2 that I got for like five grand on eBay had it delivered and just been making parts ever since uh, the second that machine hit my garage floor uh, which was at my house I worked my butt off so I could do this full time and then fast forward 10 years um, I have just got this one. This is a VF3, and then I got three more mills back there, all Haas, and then I have a CNC Haas lathe that's a TL2, so it's like a CNC and a manual lathe. Um, but yeah, it's just me and my wife. That's it. She handles the shipping and the office work. I make the parts. It's really grassroots uh, business here. Uh, for me, I'm living the my American dream, the American dream, right? I'm self-employed. I get to make cool parts. I love interacting with everybody. And uh, yeah, so that's just a little little overview if you guys didn't know already. Um, I like hot rods, I like machining, I like tattoos. That's me in a, in a, in a nutcase. <laughs> a nutshell. Anyway, let's get over all the parts um, that I offer for the OBS Fords. Um, gas or diesel it doesn't much matter but this is my billet dash trim um, if you guys can see that little guy right there you can put your stock clip on stock clips go on there and it installs just like factory just slips right in just how your factory one um, fits in your dash that's how this one fits so this is a long one for your dash these are the two short ones for either side of the steering wheel. Same thing on the back. I have the uh, tabs. You press on your um, your clips and you're good to go. This has been very popular. Um, and yes, I have been really needing to make the door trims for the two door and the four door. Um, basically, it's in the works. I'm get finalizing the 3D models and um, I just need to start machining them. 
I'm still waiting on a set of door panels though so I can test fit everything make sure that how I'm gonna mount it because I'm thinking I'm just gonna through bolt it um, and that would be the best way to mount it but I want to get the door panels get a prototype made and, and so on and so forth so with the dash trim the door trims are coming just stay tuned I've been saying that for a while but it's it's in the works so that's the dash trim they come in this is machine finished but I have black polished whatever you want um, let's get on to the the caps this is the oil cap uh, it's a full thread fits a lot of different Fords if you have a Ford you have a, a full threaded oil cap this will fit it and has o-rings in there um, this is a pretty cool little cap there's a lot of stuff going on on the inside of this thing this is the brake cap so um, it works just like factory it has all the recesses in and the little grooves in there for the diaphragm to do its thing so you just take your old diaphragm put it in here put the cap on just like you would your plastic one and you're good to go that's the top side nice and clean you can get my logo on it if you want um, that's that this is the coolant cap cover basically it is what it is it's just a cover that goes over your stock one we put a piece of double-sided tape in here it presses right over it's a very light press presses over your stock cap um, that's pretty popular for these trucks and uh, we'll get on to the next one so this here you get three of these uh, when you order a set these are the AC knobs um, pretty cool little piece all billet aluminum obviously and um, comes with uh, a set screw that has a ball detent in it so you screw in your ball set screw with a flat head screwdriver and you just test it off and on and you get your your feel for how you want um, basically the how hard you want it to go on the ball detent it's spring loaded so just a little turn it'll go right on to your post it, the flat part of your post these have been real great a lot of guys have been asking for the illuminated light but i personally do not like that and there's already one on the market and i just kind of wanted to stay true to all billet which is what i personally like so if you want the illuminated one go to the other guy uh, but it doesn't fit quite exactly as good as this one because it's not made for these trucks this one is made for these trucks um let's see next the freaking ever so popular door handles left and right they come in a pair Two door, four door. Um, I'm the original one that made the billet ones. You're gonna see a lot of people trying to copy this, but mine, I feel like, are the most complete and quality ones that you can get on the market. The other ones they try to copy, and unfortunately, I think they fall short. This is a nice, clean design. This is rough because uh, uh, I wanted an aggressive step over to give you a little bit of a grip. So that's actually all 3D machined right there. And uh, yeah, so that's the door handles. Those have been great. No one made them prior to me. Now everybody makes them or they try to make them at least. Um, then we move on to the billet wing levers. These are pretty much just like the factory ones. Um, it's pretty close to how the plastic ones are, except for a press-in pin. I have a tapped hole right here, and a set screw uh, goes in there instead of the press-in pin. So when you take your old ones out, you have a roll pin. Basically, I take like a little tiny drill bit and tap it, falls right out. Use your guts. Um, the, the little um, pin here, looks like I call it the butterfly pin has a little butterfly rocker uh, press that out and that's spring loaded put that back in to this one put it on tighten the set screw up which I provide the set screw and an allen wrench um, and if you do happen to strip it or lose it it's an M3 uh, but that's a rare case usually um, people don't have any issues with that but it's a real nice touch um, to the interior the the wing windows they get messed up they get rusty the plastic breaks so that was the whole reason why we developed this and it fits it fits really good it's just like oem has a um 
a slot in there so they do lock when you open it and close it it locks so you don't have to worry about people stealing your stuff in the very very beginning when i made the first few um, i didn't have the locks in there but decided after looking at it closer i could just mill a little slot in there so it's just that little uh, butterfly thing is spring loaded pops into the slot locks that's what you want um, last on the list are the high pressure oil pump covers i have just a regular cover and then i have one with a drain back if you have a different turbo setup or you need to have your oil go back somewhere it's just an easy spot to plumb in you can put a 90 degree fitting there whatever you want to do they also have an o-ring on the back so in the casting of the pump there's a there's a i don't know in the casting there's like half of an o-ring so i matched the o-ring thickness so my o-ring goes in here use a little bit of silicone or something to hold the o-ring in because it's not full depth of the o-ring and pop it right in that groove that's already in the housing it'll go in there and seal just fine the silicone is just to hold the o-ring in as you install it that's it it's not the o-ring does the ceiling but yeah these are all my parts for the obs trucks and honestly they have been doing extremely well and i am so grateful um for the support really the dash trim and the door handles and the wing vents are by far the most popular i started with the door handles first and then it snowballed into this and i have a whole bunch of stuff that i want to make like the um the steering you know to you that little lever you pull you can adjust your steering height i'm gonna make that the light switch that's on the list um actually i should go grab my list because it is extremely long i want to make all kinds of stuff i also have developed a outside billet door handle which uh the models are probably 95 percent done i'm pretty happy with the way those have been turning out and um Oh, one thing I don't have here, but I do offer are the idler pulleys. Um, I also offer an idler pulley for the uh, OBS. So when I'm making a lot of this stuff, it cross goes to different trucks. Like the idler pulley I made uh, for the 99 to 04 Lightnings. Come to find out, I have my buddy Brandon over, we were shooting a video and I'm looking at his truck and I'm like, dang man, you know what? My idler pulley fits that. And not only does it fit that, it fits the Cobra or fits anything i was like holy cow this thing fits everything so i don't know exactly everything that it fits um a lot of these parts like th these are for the lightnings goes i even had these on my super duty uh it just i don't know i can't keep up with everything that they fit so if you're looking for something and you're like hey that part looks similar you can feel free to shoot me a text and we'll go over it and um if it fits great if not maybe i can make a small change and it'll fit but yeah, I got a lot of stuff that I want to come out with still, but you all keep me slammed with just these few products. And um, I appreciate y'all. That's why we got the new machine to help out with the production. So that's four CNC machines that I run and program and set up on a daily basis. And it's rare that these things are shut down. I only shut down for this video. I'm a, as soon as I'm done, fire them back up, start making parts again. But yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot. It helps me grow the channel with um, all the YouTube stuff to get in front of people and the algorithm and all that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I appreciate you guys. A little bit of history about me. Saw some cool stuff. And uh, I don't know. That's it. This is me and my shop. JC, baby, ship it.